I feel like I just get on here and shit and embarrass myself. <laughs> being authentically me period i must really like doing my hair i must really want to be a wig channel because it seems like every single time that i'm up on here i am complaining about a new hairstyle that i'm trying that i don't like and then eventually i'm like okay i got used to it and today that is definitely what we're going to be experiencing because if you see the thumbnail hopefully this hair came out good but if you saw the thumbnail that means that everything went splendid but honey child, when I tell you I was trying on this wig and I said, what the hell did I do? That's how I felt. I tried to step out and try something new, you know, just be a little, you know, a little adventurous with the hair. And um, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. But I am so excited though because this hair is actually going to be in partnership with Beauty Forever Hair. Yay! Yay! I'm super excited. So this is the box. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, the, the box is a little ghetto, okay? Because I messed it up a little bit. That's okay. We're not gonna focus on that. The box did come with like a little, with little lashes, which were really cute. It came with this really cute headband. And it did come with a wig cap. Now, let me get into the details of this hair. I'm kind of excited because I don't think I'm gonna need that wig cap because this hair, okay, so this is the wig. Let me just show you guys the wig. So you see the color, you guys? This color is really pretty. I was playing with it a little bit and I was seeing how it looked against my complexion and it was kind of just blending in. So that was the scary part for me, but we're gonna see. So what I really like about this wig, definitely wash it before you get it because it does have a little bit of, you know, just that wig smell. But I really like this wig because it comes with a fake scalp. So that way you don't have to worry about putting on makeup, you know, over it. If you did want to just put a little concealer in the part, you could. But this is a really beginner-friendly wig, which I really, really like. So if you're someone who wants to try a wig but you're not too sure, this is definitely something that you can try. And you want to, you know, have a little color and do as little amount of work that you want on a wig, this is a good option. So you would think because this is here that you have all this parting range, but that's not how the wig works. So when you look at the description on the Amazon uh, link, that I'll be, everything will be in the description box, of course, you will see that this is just a strictly middle part wig. So if you try to part it to the side, if you try to part it anywhere else, you're gonna be hit with you know this track that is right here because they put tracks right there. So, you know, just keep that in mind. That's why I say it's a really beginner friendly wig because it's literally just one part, the scalp is already there for you and you don't have to worry about partying or really doing anything else to it. You could just throw it on and be good to go. And just like most wigs, it comes with three combs inside. It doesn't have one in the middle, which is I'm happy about because that always gets in the way. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the wig on so you guys can see, you know, where my fear sets in, okay? Something ain't right, cause... Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Like, you know I'm not happy, you know I'm trying to see if it'll work out. <laughs> I feel like I just get on here and shit and embarrass myself. <laughs> I was honestly, like, freaking out, but I am not a quitter, okay? so. Of course, I'm not going to be wearing this shirt and stuff like that, but I just put this on from me cutting hair. So we're going to see what we can do to fix this, like right now, right now. Do you guys see what I mean by this is definitely interesting? The hair, though, is really, really soft, which I like. So it's going to be really easy to just straighten it, hot comb it, and do a lot of different things. Make sure you guys watch this video to the end so you can see how I finesse this. Okay, so let me point out something important here. Another cool thing about this wig, right? So you see, even though it's only the middle part that it can go, this whole front piece, you can push back. So say you want to do a little, say because you can't really part it any other way, but say you want to do like a little cute push back with like your hair curled and something like that, that will look really cute because you can do that with this. But you can't like, you know, move it to the side. If you wanted to wear it to the side, you couldn't do that because of, as I explained earlier. 
but it's really really cool that if you did want to try something different of course I'm gonna do baby hairs here and stuff like that you could adjust it based off this parameter here let's just stop talking and let's just see what we can do because I can't I can't stare at myself like this for much longer okay guys so I sped up this part because I feel like you guys have seen me install so many wigs by now so what I'm going to do is just start by hot combing the sides and hot combing the back and I'm going to then cut off the lace to make sure that I can begin to tweeze the baby hairs so here is where everything just kind of went left okay this is the struggle box right now because I parted it and I was pushing the hair back so that I can start tweezing the part just a little bit so I can have um, more baby hair space and make it look natural. And this part was fine, but then as I was beginning to do the baby hairs, it just looked really, really silly because the baby hairs were just so close together. And so I thought, since I have so much space, what I can do is bring the part down just a little bit more. As you guys can see, you see what I'm saying? It just looked really weird so I was like you know what let me part it down further down tweeze it a little bit more and because I'm so used to tweezing like I said so many times in this video this wig is such a beginner friendly wig and as you could see I oh my god <laughs> I was tweezing so much that I made it super thin I put a hole in the lace and I zoomed up so you guys can see you can start seeing the track and you know the other pieces of the lace so I really want you guys to really know so I can be as transparent as possible you don't need to tweeze that much you don't even need to really tweeze it if you don't feel like it but since I messed it up I just decided to just cover it and just pretend that it wasn't there straighten out the wig and just deal with the mistake that I made so just keep that in mind you do not need to really tweeze it like that literally a few strands and baby hair and you're good to go or else you're going to show the track so please be mindful of that do as I say not as I do but I'm just going to finish straining it and then you guys are going to see the final look coming up right now I really like the final product. I know you guys saw me straightening it, but then, uh, guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like straight. Okay, I'm gonna put some pictures up right here, pop, 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 right? But after I straightened it, I was just like, you know what? I'm not feeling it. The bob look is super, super cute, but I just felt like because the hair was already, you know, clashing with my complexion a little bit, I'm like, you know what? Let me try just curling it with my infamous loose wave curls to kind of match a bob kind of aesthetic. I was honestly so nervous with this hair and because of the color, but also because I didn't understand the concept of a tea part lace. So a tea part lace, if you guys didn't know either, let me explain it to you, is literally just that. This part is the T, that's as much lace as you can get, and then here's the other side of the T, so it's just straight down the middle. So you get a little bit here, a little lace here, and a little bit here, but you can't part it any other way. So I didn't really understand this, so that's why I was having such a hard time with the baby hairs. You guys will see that I was struggling a bit with that, but now that I understand it, it's such a beginner-friendly wig. I will definitely say that this wig is so beginner-friendly. If you're looking for a wig that you don't have to put too much work in, the hair is super soft, you can curl it, you can straighten it, you can do all these different things and you don't have to worry about making it look super, super natural and just kind of throwing it on. This is that wig for you. Definitely keep that in mind when you are purchasing the wig. Everything will be in the description box below. Thank you so much Beauty Forever Hair for collaborating with me on this video. Also there will be a 6% discount code for you guys and also a link to their other wigs that you can check out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!